Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the EC38 extended look at for the UK and the rest of Europe as well for today's uh, second video. So as always on a Tuesday, this is your extended European outlook and I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. There'll be a 10 to 14 day coming later on today as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all of today's videos. Thank you so very much everybody for doing that. And thank you so much to ecfw.int for supplying the charts as well, by the way. Thank you so much, GC. Right, going to start off with the week one mean sea pressure anomaly from the North Atlantic and uh, UK, Europe and elsewhere. So uh, this is the week we're currently in. This is the 19th to the 26th of June. So uh, we're going to get low pressure this week in the Atlantic Ocean coming up against a wall of high pressure sitting across most parts of northern and also uh, western Europe as well. This will draw up a southerly wing, which of course is going to be a very warm wing direction, um, but the low pressure in the Atlantic, especially for Ireland and Scotland, will provide some rain at times. Increasingly high pressure both building uh, areas further south and west of the UK. And Ireland too. Uh, let's just flip this over to North Pole. This is the 500 millibar week one height anomaly. Again, showing it all up very nicely. Below average heights are in the North Atlantic. Above average heights, high pressure dominating across many parts of Europe. Winds again coming up from a southerly direction. Most areas are under high pressure across Europe. And most areas are very warm in the coming week or in this week. So hot for Scandinavia and much of Northern Europe as well. We see Ireland, the UK, Scandinavia, the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and, Lit and Lithuania, uh, northern parts of Poland, most of Denmark, Germany and the Low Countries coming out with temperature anomaly of 3 to 6 degrees above average. That will be uh, really hot. Elsewhere, across most of uh, Europe, we see above average temperatures of between 1 to 3 degrees above normal areas from Poland to uh, Ukraine, for example, and to the Black Sea, and also France, and down into the Med. Most areas are coming out uh, above average, but not as warm as it is further north and west. So exceptions to rule the extreme eastern part of Europe and into eastern part of the Mediterranean. So around Greece and to Turkey, a little bit cooler than average through there. Around the Black Sea, it's a little bit cooler than average and into southwest of Russia. Actually looking uh, very cool. Central parts of Spain also coming out with... Um, uh, near a normal temperature, probably still a bit above average even there, but it is closer to average through the central part of Spain this week. Precipitation-wise, lots of variation from area to area. We have a wet sway from northern parts of Spain um, and pretty much of France into Germany and Poland, so that's an area of heavy rain and or thunderstorms, uh, presumably. It also looks quite wet for Scotland and Ireland as well. Above average rainfall there. Again, a lot of that is going down to thunderstorms. Between those two areas of wet weather, though, it's actually quite dry. So most parts of Scandinavia, especially Denmark and southern Sweden, coming out uh, drier than average. Um, and also the central bowl of the Med looking reasonably dry and heading northwards into light Hungary and uh, Austria, for example. We should see dry and average conditions through there. Then a little bit wetter again as we come into the extreme eastern portion of Europe. For the Mediterranean, as I say, Spain and Portugal looking wet in the north and the east, drier in the south and the west. Most parts of the central bowl of the Med from eastern Spain right way through to Italy looking drier than average. And it gets a little bit more unsettled, maybe, especially as we push over towards Turkey. Right, week two will be the 26th of June to the 3rd of July. So going a little bit flatter this week, perhaps returning more of a westerly flow. Low pressure in the North Atlantic into Northern Europe. High pressure ridging in from the Atlantic into western parts or southwestern parts of Europe. You can see it's actually probably coming back through here as we go into next week. 500 millibar. Height anomaly looks like that. So, again, below average heights around green ice in the North Atlantic, Scandinavia. Uh, cooler and more unsettled there. High pressure 
just pushing a little bit further southwards into southwestern parts of Europe. Temperature anomalies still look quite warm in most areas. Hottest temperature anomalies are for Spain and Portugal, where we're, again, three to six degrees above average. That's going to be really hot for Spain. An anomaly at this time of year, midsummer of like six degrees above average, is going to be very, very, very hot. Further north, it's still warm and average in most parts of northern and also West Europe. Signs of a little bit of a cool down maybe for Scandinavia, especially Norway, but also some central parts of Sweden, possibly just begin to revert back a little bit towards uh, nearer normal temperature. But basically, Northern and Western Europe still looking uh, warm or very warm, really. Um, just not quite as hot as it is going to be this week. Cooler than average through this southeastern corner. Again, from like Ukraine to the Black Sea and then around the Balkans, um, Romania, down to Greece and Turkey. That's where the coolest temperature anomalies appear to be next week and into southern parts of Italy as well. And precipitation wise, for week two, it looks like that. You see where the low pressure is, of course, in the North Atlantic from Iceland, Scandinavia, wetter than average up here. Meanwhile, those southwards largely dry than average through most of those western parts of Europe and extending into central portions of Europe as well, through to the Mediterranean. Uh, once again, we look reasonably dry through central western re regions, possibly a little bit more showering over on the eastern side of the map. Week three <laughs> will be the third to the 10th of July. Uh, high pressure then more towards the eastern side of Europe, seemingly low pressure in the North Atlantic and around here as well. Could West Europe be turning a little bit more unsettled here? Um, 500 millibar height anomaly though doesn't really show that up. It actually shows above average heights covering much of Europe. Presumably some lower pressure is still left in the Atlantic though. The temperature anomaly just generally warm and average really in most areas. Right way from Ireland to Portugal in the far west over towards the Black Sea and uh, western parts of Russia in the east. And all points in between. So quite a widely warmer than average week, albeit not as hot as it is this week. And so precipitation is concerned, so it's drier than average in the northeastern portions of Europe, especially like Finland and the Baltic Sea states over towards northwestern parts of Russia. I mean, a little bit southwards, maybe towards the Black Sea, driving an average shoe bear. Just like it could be a little bit on the wetter side through the western side of Europe, just generally through like northern Spain, France, possibly into Ireland and the UK, and then northwards about in towards parts of Norway. <laughs> and then week four will be the 10th to the 17th of July. Signs of high pressure coming back and towards the western part of Europe, particularly around Denmark and Germany and Poland. Uh, perhaps lower pressure returns southwards again towards Spain and Portugal. Some low pressure around Iceland and some high pressure maybe over towards that southeastern corner of Europe. The 500 millibar height looks like looks like high pressure is uh, coming back to the west of Europe. That high pressure reforming again. The temperature anomaly widely warmer than average in most areas, just maybe a little bit on the cooler side around the uh, shores of the Adriatic and into the Balkans, for example, but that's exception to the rule. Possibly Turkey as well, actually. Those are the exceptions to the rule, though. Most places are looking warmer than normal, and as far as precipitation is concerned. So it looks wettish through southern Europe again. Very unusual for, like, the middle of July to be seeing these wetter than average anomalies around Italy and, you know, into the central part of the Med and whatnot, and around the Balkans and the Adriatic and down towards Greece uh, as well, wetter than all through there. So a little bit on the wet side up towards Norway, but otherwise dry than average conditions returning to West Europe, including the UK, uh, Northern France, the Low Countries, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, uh, Denmark, those sort of areas uh, looking drier oh, once again. Right, that's your 30 day look I've done, but let's go on to weeks five and six, because why not? We're here, and the charts are here, so you might as well. Uh, this is week five, 17th to the 24th of July. Signs of the high pressure strengthening further across much of Northern and also potentially Eastern Europe too. The 500 millibar height anomaly again showing a large area of above average heights taking over through most parts of Northern and Western Europe. The temperature anomaly looks really warm in most areas away from this southeastern corner and the precipitation anomaly still looking quite dry, especially in the North and West, wet down across southern parts of Europe. And then lastly, week six will be the 24th to the 31st of July. 
That's how it looks. So, uh, lower pressure in towards France, Spain, Portugal, and the men. Higher pressure over on the eastern side of Mediterranean. And hence, still a little bit of high pressure somewhere in the North Atlantic, close to Scotland and Norway. The 500 millibar. High to normally show that uh, with high pressure going nowhere fast across the west of Europe. So this is a high and dry second half of July being indicated there. Again, we see very warm temperature anomalies across the board. And finally, precipitation looks like that. Driest in the far door and west, wettest down in the south. Uh, right, OK, so that's your uh, 30 day European outlook for this week. We'll do it all over again next Tuesday. We'll have a look at this model again, though, on Friday, actually. And that, of course, will have a uh, UK and Ireland focus, as always. Maybe it's just a snapshot of what this model is showing, so it could look completely different when we look at it again. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and large pinches of salt attached. But that's what it's showing today for your extended 30 day slash 42 day European outlook. We're going to be back shortly with your 10 to 14 day, including all our break features. Come back for that then for this week's 30 day European outlook. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.